What is up guys, Dashing here for episode 73 of Community Universe Mode, a full year of uh, CMV as we like to call it, as we are live at the second annual Royal Rumble event. We are kicking things off here tonight with some singles action between Jackie Rays and Sunshine. Guys, I can't believe we're finally here, the second annual Royal Rumble event. What's up, Bort? What's up, Zach? A jam-packed... Uh, card we have tonight three championship matches our main event jeremy blake gonna go one-on-one -on -one with hayden in a double title match for both the intercontinental and the world titles and then we have the 30-man royal rumble match itself of course 30 men compete in an over-the-top row battle royal match and the winner will secure their main event spot in the second annual wrestlemania event which is just three months away guys the first match is done because we only have six matches booked tonight. Anarchy. Why do you ask so many fucking questions? No, 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 there is no pre-show tonight because everybody is going to be involved in the Royal Rumble match. Everybody on the roster aside from Jeremy Blake and Hayden. So we're not going to have ourselves a pre-show tonight, just the main card. Here we are, guys, live at the second annual Royal Rumble event. We're going to kick things off some singles action between Jackie Rays and Sunshine, a rematch from last, uh, last month's WWE live event in which we saw Sunshine defeat Jackie Rays. Jeremy Blake is back. Uh, woo! And now here comes the creepiest entrance we have ever seen. And approaching the ring from wherever he was, Sunshine. After months and months and months, well, I shouldn't say months and months and months, but about two months now, Jackie Ray's just been poking and prodding at Sunshine. Remember, way back, Sunshine actually uh, caused Jackie Ray's to suffer a concussion after hitting multiple headbutts back when Sunshine had that hard plastic mask of his. He just headbutted, I think it was 21 times, he headbutted Jackie Ray's, causing a concussion, keeping Ray's out of action for over a month. Ray's came back seeking vengeance, but he didn't get it at WWE Live. Sunshine, like I said, did defeat him in the past couple of weeks now. Jackie Ray just can't seem to let it go. He keeps coming out, interfering in Sunshine's matches. At the top of the month, Sunshine won a main event match. I can't for the life of me remember against who. But he won a match, and then Jackie Ray came out on the stage and pointed down at him, and he was like, hey, I'm not done with you. And then, two weeks ago on main event, Jackie Ray actually attacked Sunshine before his match against Marco Punish, causing a Punish to be able to capitalize on that and pick up the win. Finally, Sunshine agreed to one more match against this foe here tonight. Hopefully, this will uh, end the beef between these two as starting things off nice and slow. Back to the collar and elbow. Jackie Rays switches to the waist lock. Sunshine gets a waist lock of his own. Now Sunshine's got the side headlock. Both men back to their feet. 
pullback attack from the former two-time Intercontinental and World Champion, but it does not pay off. Rookie mistake, Sunshine, come on. Great reversal from Jackie, though, into a jawbreaker. And now a drop kick, pinpoint right on the nose. <laughs> You're good, Chrissy. That's pretty funny, man. Are you a uh, are you a comedian? Do you do stand up? Give me some tickets to one of your shows, dude. Now Jackie Ray's with a hard Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Now dragging Sunshine to the middle of the ring, possibly looking for another drop kick. Sunshine says no way. And the jawbreaker of his own. This is our opening match of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. The second annual Royal Rumble event. We are starting our road to WrestleMania. Our main event tonight will be a 30-man over-the-top row battle royal. The winner will secure their spot in the main event. The second annual WrestleMania and get a shot at the World Heavyweight Champion. The championship, I should say. The question is, who will be the champion after tonight? As Jeremy Blake is set to take on Hayden in a double title match, guys, for both the Intercontinental and World Heavyweight titles. We're gonna have a unified champion at the end of the night here. Will it be Jeremy Blake? Will it be Hayden? We'll find out later on tonight, but right now, this match has been pretty slow paced thus far. Kick to the gut to Sunshine, and Sunshine is going for another pullback attack. Now he's got the front headlock near the midsection. Jackie, though, nice chest bump, showing good sportsmanship. Now we got a brawl ensuing. Jackie with some nasty shot after shot after shot, using his legs and fists. No, Zach, I already told you in cop stream that I did not download the new Zach. We'll have to wait until tomorrow's episode. And what's Jackie going from here? Jackie raised with a half camel clutch. He's got it locked in pretty tight. He's wrenching back, guys. Will Sunshine tap? The ropes are right there, but Sunshine can't reach him, I guess. The ref's in perfect position. Jackie going to let it go. He knows Sunshine's not going to tap out that easily. Now Jackie's got Sunshine caught in the corner, goes for a drop into the lower back. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Slobber and I didn't even really connect, but Jackie Ray's the magician, so it's okay. Now Sunshine looking for his comeback. Can he get it? Lariat takedown. Sunshine trying to mount his comeback. Two clotheslines. Can he finish it off with that super kick? Yes, he can. Right to the jaw of Ray's. And now, springboard body splash, but Ray's pulls a Samoa Joe, rolls out of the way. And now Ray's back to his feet, looking for a knee face breaker. Now dragging the two-time Intercontinental, two-time world champion, first ever Intercontinental champion. Sunshine to the middle of the ring for another drop kick to the nose. And now Sunshine! Sunshine looking for Crunchy here on JR and he got it. Looking for the win. One, two, only a two count though. So close, but no cigar for Sunshine here. Don't tell me what Samoa Joe does, Chrissy. Samoa Joe does whatever I want Samoa Joe to do. Jackie trying to get back into this match here. Change the pace to his favor after Sunshine hit that nasty Crunchy. Uh-oh. Sunshine, don't waste your finisher. What are you doing? Uh -oh, Sunshine clotheslining Jackie over the top rope. Now sizing JR up. What's he looking for? Rebounds off the ropes. Over the top. Spaceman plancha. Beautiful Spaceman plancha by Sunshine here. What a maneuver. Oh, and now in need of the midsection. Discus clothesline. Just keeping up the assault here on Jackie. Yeah, JR Cop, Jackie Raves. That's what we call him. Referee had a count of five. Sunshine's got to get. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Possibly looking for a count out here. But Jackie's coming soon. Uh oh, no. Sunshine. 
taunting. That's going to cost him. Jackie comes up from behind. Sunshine took uh, took that little moment there to try and taunt, but it's gonna it might cost him the match right here because Jackie, Jackie, hook, line, and sinker from Jackie Ray's knee right to the spine, looking for the win here. Only a two count. That taunt that Sunshine did is, might cost him the match right here, guys. There you go. He hits a reversal. Just gotta stay on top of him now. Sunshine going for the pin. Now we got a downright slobber knocker ensuing as both men just hitting some nasty shots. Jackie with a drop kick to the knee. Go for the pin off that. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to keep Sunshine down. No, only a one count. Ray's just looking to wear the veteran down here. Nice chest bump, showing good sportsmanship. Both men have hit signatures, guys. Sunshine hit a beautiful space man plancha earlier. Jackie does have a finisher in his pocket, but now he's down on one knee. His foot's all caught up in the bottom rope. Ray's trying to regain some stamina as Sunshine's just trying to get back to his feet here. Wait a minute! Jackie! Jackie Ray's! Bunker Buster out of nowhere! One, two, three, and Ray's got it! Jackie Ray's with a Bunker Buster out of nowhere. And it picks him up the one, two, three here tonight. Finally, Jackie Ray's defeats Sunshine. Finally, you get some retribution here for what happened at WWE Live. Getting some retribution for Sunshine costing him a month of his career due to a concussion. Here's that beautiful Spaceman plancha from Sunshine. <sighs> then both men from there would just try to go for pin after pin after pin. But it'd be Jackie right here with the Funker Buster out of nowhere. That gets him the one, two, three. His mouth's wide open. That was <laughs> that was a weird animation. Here is your winner. He could have reached out to grab the ripe, the ripe apples that are hanging from the ropes, the Irish ropes. Right win for Jackie Ray's here, guys. What a match! Awesome way to kick off the second annual Royal Rumble event. As now we move on to our first championship match of the evening. Kaden Kid, oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought the Hardcore Championship match was next. I'm wrong though. It is going to be our WWE Tag Team Title match of the evening, as Zach Payne and Big Show collide with longtime foes and former two-time tag team champions in their own right. X Gen Omega Z and Sushi X here, guys. <laughs> I bet he would have, Krizzy. He also would have invited you over for uh, candy and to play with his puppies and whatnot. <clears throat> First of three title matches here tonight at the Royal Rumble, guys. Later on tonight, we'll see Kane and Kinner defend his hardcore championship against Randy Borton in an Extreme Rules match. And then our main event... Of course, going to be Jeremy Blake taking on Hayden in a double title match for both the Intercontinental and World titles. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate that. Zack Payne and Big Show guys have been on quite a roll since winning the titles. About three months ago, they actually beat X-Gen to win the uh, belts. Since then, they've gone on to defend them three times against the Industry, the Patriots, and the Hit Squad. Three of the toughest tag teams we have here on the Monday Night Raw roster had the Patriots are no longer with us. They're down in NXT now. But they are going to be facing their biggest challenge here tonight in the form of X-Gen, who have previously defeated them 
X shit has beaten Zack Payne and Big Show more times than I can fucking count. But Zack Payne and Big Show have also picked up their fair share of victories over X Gen. What's the matter, Victor? You don't have an Xbox One or something? Whatever the problem is, you're always welcome. Don't worry about it, Grizzy. You don't need to worry about that. It might lag a couple times throughout the show. Hopefully not too much, because there are people using the internet in my house right now. So hopefully it doesn't lag too much, like it's already gone away, but maybe it's just because of the entrance. Shouldn't be too bad, though, as we are set for our first championship match of the evening. Zack Payne and Big Show defend their WWE Tag Team titles against X Channel Magazine and Sushi X here, who are all... <clears throat> all pimped out in their pay-per-view attires. Oh, I'm sorry, Aggie, I didn't see you. Uh, all you have to do, my friend, is go to the website, which someone will be kind enough to post for you, I'm sure, and then you register, and I will download your call. But you got to go to the website. As the referee is going to ring the bell here, Zach Payne immediately going to get a front headlock, snapmare into the big boot. Rebounds off the ropes, now a big splash. I know, we got the graphic, right? We always hit the WWE Tag Team title match graphic, though. I think we've only not had it once. That's the one graphic we always get. Sometimes we get half of the World Championship graphic. <laughs> only half of it, though. Omega Z now in control. As he's going for some mounting punches. Bam, 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 bam. Wow. That's the, that's, those are the sound effects I'll make every time he hits that move in this match. Zack Payne didn't know where he was. He just tried to chop the top turnbuckle. Oh, and now Omega Z just throwing Zack shoulder first into the ring post. Going to follow it up with a powerbomb type maneuver. Lifting leg slam. I'm sure as Cop would call it. Now Omega going to lock it in an inverted figure four here. Just trying to wear down Zack Payne's legs. We all know that probably Payne's biggest, you know, asset that he has in his moveset is his speed. He can fucking just fly around the ring. That's why the combination of him and Big Show are so good. He he can fly around the ring and Big Show is just a fucking monster. Speaking of Big Show, here comes the world's largest athlete. And now, oh my god, Omega Z showing us some impressive strength here to hit a German suplex on Big Show after you register uh, Aggie. Then you find the thread that's titled Waiting List. You post about your call, his name, uh, a bio if you want to, you know, if he's a face or heel. And then we will decide whether he goes to Raw or NXT. As so Omega Z, guys, gonna hit that Future Shock TDT of his. Big Show in trouble here. I don't think that'll be enough to keep Big Show down, but not even a one count. The ref took his goddamn time getting into the pin position there, though. I still don't think that would have been enough either way. Big Show now in control, going for a single knee backbreaker. <clears throat> shot after shot after shot from Big Show here, right to the face of Omega Z. That can't feel too great. Now stop right to the ribs. It's like that. It's like that fucking. Uh, Spike DDT woke Big Show up because now he's all over Omega. Sushi X is still yet to be in the match. 
XGNR, former two-time tag team champions, guys. They lost the titles to Zach Payne and Big Show about three months ago. Refused to cash in their rematch clause. They said they wanted to give other teams a chance to shine. Let Zach Payne and Big Show, you know, have their reign. And when XGen are good and ready, they'll come back for their uh, championship rematch. It took them three months, but here they are. The past couple of weeks on Raw, Omega Z has actually defeated Big Show and Zach Payne in singles competition. Sushi X has been busy with Hayden and Jeremy Blake in the main events. What a fucking roll Sushi X has been on. Been pretty incredible short arm clothesline from Omega Z now. Lately, we've been seeing a big rift between Big Show and Zach Payne. They haven't been at each other's, uh, they haven't been ringside for each other's matches. We all know the way that Zach Payne speaks to Big Show when they're backstage or in the ring. Wait a minute, Big Show! Big Show locked him in the closet clutch. You better get in there, Sushi. You better get in there. Sushi, hurry up. Oh, he breaks it up. Just in time. I think Omega. Oh, and now Sushi just stopped on the back of Omega's head. I hope that was an accident. I think Omega Z was about to tap, guys. A couple more seconds, I think Omega would have been done. He would have been forced to submit. Luckily, Sushi X got in there just in time. And then he accidentally stomped on Omega Z's head, the back of his head. Big Show and Zach Payne seem to be on the same page here tonight, though. Big Show might want to be looking for a tag out to Payne right about now. He's been taking a lot of damage at the hands of Omega. Oh, what a big boot, though. God damn. Nearly taking Omega's head off. Going for the pin now. Sushi X would have to come in to break that up at a one count. Big Show now with a slobber knocker, sending Omega Z down to the outside of the ring. And here comes Zach Payne. Pretty far from your corner, Zach. Omega Z in a bad part of town right now. And Payne, not the legal man, Irish whipping Omega back into the ring. Trying to help Big Show out a little bit. The referee had a count of three. Both men now back in the ring. But that's actually going to give Omega the advantage. And X-Gen, oh, I thought they might have gone for their tag team finisher. But no, what are they going for here? Super kick to Big Show. And now Omega Z, Omega Z with a pedigree on Big Show. Chicken wing face buster. Following a nasty super kick from Sushi. This is the first time we're seeing Sushi in this match. He's nice and fresh at 100% here, guys. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Big Show has been getting the shit kicked out of him. He's really got to be looking for a tag out to Zack now. And now Sushi gonna show us some of that strength of his with a stalling butterfly suplex here. <laughs> Omega Z is Triple H, confirmed indeed. Sushi X looking to mock Big Show with that sidekick there, but he was a little bit, a little bit off, just a little bit, just a tad, just a smidge. And what the fuck is Sushi going for? Oh, Judgment Slam! Sushi X with a big time slam on Big Show here. Zack Payne gonna have to come in to break up the pin at a count of one. Don't tell me how to live my life, Anarchy. Arm hook toss, I'm sorry, cop. And now Sushi clotheslining Big Show over the top rope. Looking to possibly mimic Sunshine from earlier tonight. No, suicide dive, wasn't a spaceman plancha. Beautiful suicide dive nonetheless though. Kind of wasted his finisher, but what are you going to do? Big Show could be out of it. Nope, he's right back to his feet, kick to the gut. Iris ripping Sushi back into the ring. Zach Payne desperately asking for the tag over there. Now Big Show... I don't know what the hell Sushi was going for right there. Looks like he's about to run up Big Show. Big Show has got to make that tag, guys. Taking the tagging in, not tagging him. That would hurt. And to Omega Z. That I exactly. Break. Next simmer down. You didn't even need to. Ropes, what a back kick from Payne. Balls it up with a flying forearm smash. Uh, mag? Mag cop? Is it magging?
Come on, lag. Lag, lag, go away. Come again some other day. Don't come get, don't come again some other day. You can just stay away. Alright, now it says we're live. And as soon as we come back, Zach Payne gonna hit a zigzag. It'll be a rope break again though. The magazine's getting lucky with them rope breaks. Uh-oh. Zach Payne and Big Show possibly looking for their tag team finisher. They are! Zach Payne with the pendulum backer, guys, setting up Big Show to hit that devastating elbow drop from the second rope. Big Show gonna hook the leg, but here comes Sushi, the ref. I hate the rest of this game, dude. I hate them so much. He stood there. Oh my god, that could have been one, two, three if the ref wasn't a goddamn retard. Nonetheless, though, Zach Payne and Big Show oh so close to winning the match right there. But Omega Z back to see Big Show back in the match. Back body drop. Quite the fall for Omega. Going for the pin. One, two. Only a two count for Sushi X. Was able to break it up. Fuck him in a seize. Now some more mounting punches from Sushi, or uh, Omega I should say. Sushi Omega. Omega Sushi. Back elbows from Big Show, get him out of that waist lock. Like I said guys, it might lag like that a couple times through the show. Just tell me if it's, wait a minute. X-Gen, X-Gen going for their tag team finisher. Omega Z with the package pile driver, sends him back to Sushi. Who's gonna hit the brain by that? Big Show in trouble. One, two, only a two count. So close though. Zach Payne luckily making the save just in time. As I was saying though, if the lag gets too bad, too bad at any point, just let me know in the chat and I will pause it until it gets better. It'll probably do that honestly a couple times through the show. Hopefully it just stays away for the, for the better part. Like I said, there are people doing shit in my house, so. Sushek showing us his strength again with a Triple gut wrench suplex combo. Deadlifting Big Show going for the pin again. Zach Payne once more has to make the save. Zach Payne isn't that injured, guys. He's got to get the... Oh, damn. What a kick. What is Omega Z doing in there? Omega, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Omega setting Big Show up for Sushi to hit that spine buster. It's good teamwork, I guess. And now Sushi X going for the white noise. Slamming Big Show right down into the canvas. Rebounded off the ropes there. That might be a rope break. No. Zach Payne going to make the save anyhow, even before one count. The ref again taking his jolly old time getting into the pin. Zach Payne really needs to get himself into this match, guys. Like I said, Zach's nice and fresh still. He really, he really hasn't taken any damage. Great teamwork there from Payne and Big Show. That's show. Irish whips Sushi X. Payne pulling down the top rope, forcing Sushi to tumble down to the outside of the ring. What the hell is Big Show doing? What's Sushi doing? What's going on? What is life? Oh, Big Show sweeping Sushi's feet from underneath him. Causing him once again to fall to the outside of the ring. Zach Payne just begging for the tag at this point. But Big Show is on the outside of the ring. Referee to count of four or three. I don't know. I can't hear too well. Locking in a sharpshooter, but they're on the outside of the ring. This isn't false count anywhere. Zach Payne just accidentally stomped on Big Show, causing him to die right there for a moment. I don't know what's going on right now, guys, honestly. Referee had a count of five, both men back in the ring. Sushi got assisted by uh, Payne there. Big Show, looking for another tag team finisher perhaps? I don't know if they have one. I'm pretty sure they have another one. I'm pretty sure Big Show has a finisher. Sushi X definitely has a finisher. They're gonna switch places this time. Package pile driver followed up by the brain master. Look at the strength of X Gen to be able to lift Big Show up like this if it's nothing. Go, oh, ref, turn the fuck around. God damn it, idiot. The ref was staring at Zach Payne. The ref's in love, guys. I guess I can't get mad at, at love. I mean, Zach Payne's quite the looker, let's be honest. Look at those fucking mut mutton chops. And again, X Gen the super kick. Pedigree combo. Big 
Big Show could be out, guys. Going for the pin. Oh, yeah, not even, not even a one count. Says it's lag. Twitch just doesn't like this match. What can I say? I don't blame him. Actually, I go for another tag team finisher. <clears throat> Package pile driver. Sushi sends it back into the brain buster. Bam. One, no, only a one count. Big Show is getting killed. Big Show is getting murdered in there. Roll up for Omega. But there's Zack Payne again, gonna be able to make the save. Zack Payne's half of the team on his back here tonight. Big Show is getting absolutely dominated by X Shen. Zack Payne has to keep coming in every other second to break up pins. Another super kick and another pedigree. <laughs> Big Show's just getting fucking wrecked, mate. Show. Big Show locking in a Boston Crab. Sushi in trouble. He's all the way on the other side of the ring. What the hell was that? That wasn't a rope break. Does the ref's legs count as the ropes? Because Sushi X touched the uh, ref's legs. And then Big Show let go of the uh, the Boston Crab. Or maybe Big Show just let go. Show desperately trying to tag out to Zach. Let's see if he can get it this time. Finally, here comes Zach Payne. As Big Show holding Sushi, allowing Payne to hit a nasty punch right to the ribs. And Zach Payne immediately gonna get hit with the Ninja Slam! Ninja Slam! And Big Show's out, guys! This is X Gen's opportunity! One, two, only a two count. That was X Gen's opportunity right there to win this match and become three time tag team champions. Sushi X immediately hitting Payne with a ninja slam as soon as he got in the ring. And now Zach Payne with a somersault or a yeah, some oh oh my god, I can't believe I'm sunset flip power bomb. Got those two moves confused for a minute. Leave me alone, all right. Wait a minute. Zach Payne with the zigzag. Now look for the win. Ooh, only a two count. He's gonna follow it up with first GDT here. Zach Payne and Big Show again. Payne, Big Show pulling, the causing Sushi fall all the way down out of the ring. I said zigzag. Why is Twitch deciding to do this at the Royal Rumble? It's fine yesterday. Tell your family to blow me, Borton. And X-Jet now looking for that catapult. 
Samoan drop, and he get it. And Omega Z not done there. Oh, what are you doing, Omega? Another tag team maneuver. Oh, the super kick pedigree combo again. This time, Zach Payne's gonna feel it. Zach Payne getting his fair dose. Good, Borton, you make sure you do. Get that message to them for me. Like a back suplex elbow drop. I haven't seen that since fucking SmackDown versus Raw 2006. They need to take out those old ass moves, man. They just don't go well with all the new animations. And Payne again with a sunset flip powerbomb to the outside of the ring. And now Sushi is getting double teamed out here by Show and Payne. What a match this has been. <laughs> this might be longer than the Royal Rumble match, because you might be right here. It's gone on for like 15, 20 minutes now. Oh, wait a minute, Zach immediately hitting that jumping cutter of his as soon as he got back into the ring. Here comes Omega to break it up, though. You are number one, Omega. You're the real number one, Bubba Omega Z. And Payne again with the Sunset Flip Powerbomb. Not taking it easy on Sushi here tonight. You gotta follow it up. The Blue Thunder Bomb. The Spinning Ass Grab Slam. And Payne locking in the Beast Bite. It's not false count anywhere though, Payne. You can't retain your championship by forcing Sushi to tap on the outside of the ring. Could win by count out though. If you won by count out, you retain the championship. Murphy had a count of five. Sushi gonna get back into the ring. Zach Payne a little disoriented. Big Show will help out, just bumped into him. And Sushi X greeting Payne with that vertical reverse STO with the suplex DDT. I'm sorry, mate. Going for the pin, following that spike butterfly GDT, not even a one count. Rope break gonna come into play there. Big show pain with a nice tag team maneuver, the power bomb neck breaker combo. Overhand punch from the world's largest athlete. Big Show's had quite a while to rest. Payne's been in there for a while. Nasty spine buster. Nobody knows, Morton. Nobody knows. <laughs> Big Show can't swim either. X-Gen, what are they looking for? Another catapult Samoan drop. This time to Big Show. That's going to take some serious strength to get Big Show up like that. And here come Big Show and Zach guys looking to hit their tag team finisher. This time Big Show hits the pen on the back rigger. Pain with the elbow drop from the second rope. they go for the pin. One. Two, no! Ah! Only two count. Some more mounting punches for Omega now. This has been quite the tag team match so far. Neither team. Lay down here. Both just both teams refusing to give up. It's gotta end sometime though. X are looking to end it right here with another tag team move. The super kick pedigree combo. I know Anarchy's just loving this right now. Anarchy's over there marking out. 
This is his favorite move in the game. What do you got for us, Sushi? Nothing. Zach Payne's going to reverse the Irish whoop attempt. Now he's got Sushi in the corner. And what the fuck is Payne going? Zach Payne, guys! No, Payne, you can't do this! Payne can't do this! Payne! Superplex to the outside of the ring! My God! Sushi X is dead! Back out, he killed him! He killed him, King! Sushi X is dead! Zach Payne with the superplex from the top rope down to the outside of the ring! Sushi's dead! How is Sushi getting back to his feet? No, Sushi! You stay down! You're dead! Sit down, Sushi! This can't be happening right now. <laughs> Sushi X somehow is standing. Looking to hit that catapult Samoa drop again. What the fuck? And Payne looking for his comeback. Can he hit it though? The magazine trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Instead, he'll get a blue thunderbomb for his troubles. Sushi X has got to take it out of him, guys. Sushi's got no stamina left, no momentum. Pretty much half dead. I don't know, he's not full dead. After Zach Payne superplexed him from the top rope down to the outside of the ring. That woke the crowd up, Grizzly. Now the crowd is paying attention. Payne, Payne knew this match was going too slow. Payne knew that the audience was getting bored, so he changed it up a bit. And now, a hot tag! This is next gen's chance! Here comes Sushi, fired up! Takes down Payne! Takes down Big Show! Can he capitalize here, though, folks? Yes, he can! What an exploder suplex! My God! Going for the pin, this could be it! And this is be Ref, one, two, three, and X-Gen got it! X-Gen are your new WWE Tag Team Champions of the World! What a comeback from X-Gen here! What an exploder suplex! Into the corner from Sushi to put Pain away for the one, two, three! What a match! Oh, nice camera shot. Nice camera shot, dude. Great camera skills. Look at that exploder suplex into the corner and Omega with a little punch. And that gets them the one, two, three. And X-Gen are now three-time WWE Tag Team Champions. Sushi X and Omega Z once again are our WWE Tag Team Champions. What a tag team match, guys. It got really exciting towards the end there after Payne hit that superplex on the top rope down to the outside of the ring. I don't even know how Sushi's standing right now, but he is, guys. And him and Omega are once again our WWE Tag Team Champions of the World. What a match. Great win for X-Gen, guys. And now it is time to get extreme here as our hardcore championship is going to be on the line. Caden Kinner defending against his quote-unquote friend, quote-unquote ally, Randy Borton. I thought it was going to be a rope break too, Chrissy. I was like, no, please. But the ref, I guess, had a different view. He didn't think it was a rope break. He counted the three counts. Sushi X Omega ZR once again are WWE Tag Team Champions of the World. 95% of the match was skippable. The last, like, five minutes of that tag team match were really good after Payne hit that superplex to the outside. And then the comeback sequence, which we rarely ever see actually, like, completely go off. Sushi with a nasty exploder suplex into the corner. Picking up X Gen the win. Great tag match. Let's see if Kaden Kinnera and Randy Borton can follow it up. What the fuck is with the hardcore title belt? Why is it so big? I can't, what? <laughs> Why is the Hardcore Championship so big on Caden right now? It's probably because he's got a jacket on. <laughs> Looks fucking stupid. What the hell? 
It's so big. That's Big Show size, dude. They thought Big Show was the hardcore champion. That's so fucking big. Oh my god. How is it not falling off of him? It should be sliding down him. Kate and Kinner are planning on gaining some weight, I guess. I don't know. I know Tyson Kidd's new theme is the, uh, or Tyson Kidd's theme is the new Titus O'Neil. Everybody's got it. <laughs> yeah, or Randy Borton's Tyson in disguise. You never know. Who needs title graphics? They're for squares. Just give me one second match before I stop. Or just give me one second, guys, before I stop this match. Start this match. Goddamn, dashing. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's the bell, and it's time to get it Here's straight. the bell. And now it's time to get going as Katie Kidder defends the Hardcore Championship against Randy Borton. And immediately, Caden takes Borton down to the map for a side headlock. Borton going to get out of it, though. Side headlock of his own. In a standing position. And Caden Kinner with 10 nasty forearm smashes to the chest of Randy Morton. Setting him down to the outside of the ring. These two aren't, uh, <laughs> aren't wasting any time getting to the hardcore aspect of this match as Morton searching for a weapon. Caden Kinner is just walking away gingerly. And Morton immediately, the first weapon he pulls out is a ladder. Going to set it up on the outside of the ring. This isn't a ladder match. This is an extreme rules match, folks, which means there are no disqualifications. Uh, and no count outs, anything goes. Pinfalls and submissions must count inside of the ring though. This is for the hardcore championship, Caden Kinner. Defending against Randy Borton here. And that ladder's just standing there. The natural with the advantage after that exchange. Double knee takedown from Caden. Vintage Caden Kinner. Randy Borton, guys, twice in the past month has defeated Caden Kinner both in singles and triple threat action. In fact, he defeated Caden Kinner in Duo Maxwell just uh, earlier this week on Monday Night Raw in a triple threat match. He pinned Caden Kinner, and now both men stuck on the ladder. Uh oh Hopefully they get out of it. The there we go. Caden Kinner got himself back in the ring. He broke the vicious cycle. Caden Kinner and Randy Borton are actually friends, guys. They're allies. They're a part of a tag team called Ass Beating Club. Caden actually, like in the first couple of months of his uh, of his like career, took Borton 
by his side. They teamed up as a type of alliance to take on the Madness. The Madness was giving both Caden and Borton trouble, so they decided, hey, let's team up and get rid of them. And ever since then, they've been friends, guys. But when the title is on the line, as Caden using a kendo stick to beat the crap out of Borton here, when a title is on the line, friendships and alliances go out the window. This is all about walking away the hardcore champion. Caden's just going to town with that kendo stick. Now, come on, guys. We all know that Ace Stevens is going to win the Royal Rumble. Let's be honest. Ace Stevens is going to enter in as the number 31 entrant, and he's going to win it all. And Kane and Kidder are now just beating the shit out of the ring apron. What did the ring apron ever do to you, Caden? Come on. Fucking dirty heel. Goddamn. And now Port with a high angle scoop slam. These guys spent a total of like 30 seconds in the ring. This whole match has been on the outside of the ring beating the crap out of each other with weapons. Caden Kinner just has something against the, the ring apron, I guess. He just beat the shit out of it with the chair. Just announced Caden Kinner versus the ring apron at WrestleMania. It's going to be a fucking good one, guys. No chairs. Chairs are banned. And Caden Kinner, I can't see if they're, like, slamming each other into weapons. Bad camera angle. Jack Swagger has always been my pick to win the Royal Rumble. Jack Swagger is going to walk out here tonight, guys, with his opportunity to headline the second annual WrestleMania event. It's Jack Swagger, baby. Come on. And Caden again going to attack the ring apron here, this time with a sledgehammer. Caden was huffing that paint, huh? Goddamn, Caden. You need to get your head on it. Get your head on a swivel here. Snap back into it. Borton's going to capitalize. Hack suplex. Again, I don't know if he... Slam him into a weapon. I can't see. They need to get out of this position. <laughs> All right, Krizzy, I'll try that. Both these guys just won't move from this one position on the outside of the ring. Now they're just beating the crap out of each other. Another, another, another double D takedown from Kaden Kinner. Randy Borton going for a springboard body splash. Caden rolls out of the way. He scouted out now, dragging Borton to the middle of the ring. Vintage Caden Kidder here with that triple gut wrench suplex combo of his. Of course, we know that Caden Kidder won the Hardcore Championship back at Vengeance, defeating five other men in that ladder match. Wait a minute! Caden Kinner, roundhouse, right to the back of the head. Borton could be out cold, guys. Flipping Borton over, going for the pin. One, two, only a two count. And that's a stiff kick. As I was saying, though, Caden Kinner did win the Hardcore Championship back at Vengeance in the six-man ladder match after Cyborg, the, the then Hardcore Champion, got fired. The title was vacated. And JBL announced the six-man ladder match. Caden Kinner shined through the rest, put his body, his career on the line to walk away with the Hardcore Championship. His first taste of gold here in Community Universe. So it just made his debut before Survivor Series. Caden, guys! Caden just went for his finisher. Borton countered! Randy Borton! Oh, the book end! Or the Borton end! I don't know! Hook in the leg! One! Two! Borton got it! Borton is the new Hardcore Champion! What an ending! Borton counters Caden's finisher, and then hits the book end, or the, the board end, whatever you want to call it, and picks up the one, two, three. Randy Borton is the new hardcore champion. What an upset, guys. <laughs> the Borto end. The Boro end. 
<laughs> what an upset here from Randy Borton, guys. Caden Kinner was really dominating the the vast majority of that match. Was beating the crap out of um, Borton with a bunch of weapons on the outside of the ring. But Borton with that one key counter, he counted Caden's finisher and immediately hit his, the Borto end, to pick up the one, two, three, new hardcore champion, Randy Borton. Congratulations to Borton. I don't know how Caden Kinner is going to feel about that. But now it is time to get serious, guys. It's time for the match that we have all been waiting for. No holds barred. The vigilante, Scott Nori, and the Raw General Manager, JBL, one-on-one. -on -one. The following contest is scheduled for the Making his way to the ring. From New York, City, the weighing 290 pounds, John Bradshaw. Layfield. Bradshaw coming in style here. Now he brought his limo. We don't, we don't get any flying money though. We don't get any JBL bucks. Nice shot at that limo. It should be the limo taking on Scott Nori here, let's be honest. There is no money, Borton. We got the limo entrance instead. There's the JBL fun bucks. It's not money, Chrissy, they're fun bucks. Two championship matches so far here tonight, guys, and two titles to change hands. X-Gen are once again our tag team champions. And just moments ago, we saw Randy Boren defeat his friend and ally, Caden Karen. One hell of an upset to become the new hardcore champion. Now it's time to get it really extreme. And Scott Norrie is finally going to get his hands on the man who's been tormenting him for months and months. The Raw General Manager, JBL, guys. And still to come up next. Is our championship for championship match. Jeremy Blake taking on Hayden for both the Intercontinental and World Titles. And then our main event, the 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble match. Who will earn their spot in this year's main event at WrestleMania, guys? We're going to find out later on tonight. But right now, Scott Norris has been waiting for this for as long as I can remember. He's finally going to get his hands on JBL. Here we go, JBL, Scott Norrie, one-on-one, -on -one, no holds barred, folks. Gonna start off with a collar and elbow. That's not how I expected this match to start off. Norrie taking JBL down to the mat immediately. Has that side headlock. JBL with the head scissors, though. This is no holds barred, guys. That means literally anything goes. No disqualifications, no count outs. These men can use any weapon they can find out of the ring in the audience anywhere. Pinfalls and submissions must count inside of the ring, though. As JBL with a hard Irish whip into the turnbuckle, taking Nori off his feet and now just stomping down into the spine of Scott. Oh, what a jawbreaker. This whole thing between JBL and Scott Nori guys really started when uh, Team Nori or Team War took on Team JBL back in Survivor Series. The stipulation was that if Team Nori won, that Marco Punish would keep his job. William Regal would take the over as Raw General Manager. And if Team JBL won, which they did, then uh, William Regal would be fired and so would Marco Punish. But the next night on Raw, guys, Marco Punish kept his job by aligning himself with JBL. Marco came down to the ring and attacked Scott Norrie and then beat him in a singles match. He was Norrie's surprise opponent. And then he attacked him after the match, too. And that went into a whole thing between Marco and Norrie for months. JBL just kept just poking and prodding at Norrie. 
And now the past month, Nori has just been trying over and over and over again to get his hands on JBL. Nori just kept throwing roadblock and roadblock in, in, in Nori's way in the form of the hit squad and the industry and Xander Slate. And then just a couple of weeks ago on Raw, we saw JBL come out after Scott Nori had one of the most grueling matches we've ever seen here in Community Universe mode, defeating Duo Maxwell. After the match was over, JBL came out and delivered a clothesline from hell to Scott Nori, officially, you know, booking this match here at the Royal Rumble. Finally, JBL, Scott Nori, one-on-one, -on -one, no holds barred, guys, and Nori just hammering away on JBL here. Now both men just kneeing each other in the ribs. Back kick from Scott Nori. He's got JBL lean up against the ropes. JBL though, back body drop. Nori hung on to the ropes though. And now a hip toss into the ring. JBL looking to take advantage of that no DQ rule. What's he looking for out of there? The wrestling god. Yeah, he closed logged him. JBL's got that metal bat, Nori! Just got cracked with that metal bat across the, over the skull, guys, right in the head. Now JBL just beating the, the shit out of Scott Nori, quite literally. Keeps beating him in the ass, beating his ass. Nori's gonna be feeling the effects of that in the morning. Just got beat with that bat like five times in the ass. Oh, but Nori's back in it. Leg drop in the ring apron. Nori's head has got to be throbbing right now. Cocking up that fist, punching JBL right across the jaw. This is going to be an all-out fight between these two. Again, just punching him all the way around the ring in a big circle. Now it's Nori's turn to look for a weapon. JBL's not going to let it happen, though. Going to stop Mr. Nori dead in his tracks here. Now JBL has a kendo stick. Oh, he hit him when he came in the ring. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was, but what are you gonna do? And now Scott Nori dragging JBL to the middle of the ring, looking for a suplex here. Gonna float over into the pin. No, he's not. Okay. Scott Nori wants to do some damage here before he actually goes and beats JBL. Scott Nori has been waiting months and months and months to get his hands on JBL. He's not gonna beat him that easily. He's gonna make JBL suffer here. He's gonna put JBL through hell. JBL though, single knee backbreaker here to Nori. Scott Nori looking for his comeback. He's gonna get it. Overhand punch, another overhand punch. Now gonna Irish whip JBL into the ropes. But JBL reverses it. Nori rebounds. Knee face break. And Nori, Nori looking to finish things. Vintage Scott Nori looking for the suplex pile driver. JBL in trouble. Right down on the top of his head. The wrestling god is in serious trouble right here. Nori gonna go for the pin. One, two, only a two count. Is this real life? Scott Nori, guys, just went for the GPS. I don't know if you saw that, but Nori did attempt to hit the JPS. The JPS, that's that's the mover, right? Leave me alone. The, G, the GTS. Luckily, JBL is just a little bit quicker on the draw. Uh, excuse me. Going for the pin off that reversal. I don't know if that'll be enough to keep JBL down. No, only one count. Uh, Logan Daniel, this isn't that kind of universe. We only use cause. You have to have an Xbox One. You have to make your own call. This is universe mode with cause, essentially. We only use real wrestlers if it, if it makes sense in a storyline. Nori going for the pin, following that chain of punches. Only a two count. Nori just trying to wear JBL down here, pinning him after every move. Uh oh, guys. Oh, I thought Nori might go for the GTS. No, he's looking for a weapon. Like I said, Scott Nori's looking to punish JBL here tonight. Nori will beat JBL when he's good and ready. Get another kendo stick. How many kendo sticks are we going to have in this match? Oh, now he just throws it down. I don't know what's going on right now. Both men have just lost their marbles. That's a good finisher, Dave Anarchy. He hits the GPS. His opponents don't know where they're going. They don't know where they are. Knocks them out cold. Now JBL, oof, just slamming Scott Norris' knee down in the canvas. 
Now a massive elbow drop. He's gonna hook it up for the pin here. Only a one count. All that weight of JBL just crashing down into the chest of Nori. Now the candlestick right to the back of the head. Scott Norris has got to change the pace of this match right now, guys. JBL is all over him. The wrestling god, he can't let him get going. Wait a minute. Scott Norris! Scott Norris! Norris looking for the GTS! He's got it! Knee right to the face! Busts JBL open! Hooks the leg! One, two, three! And Scott Norris picks up a massive win here tonight. Scott Norrie with the GTS, knee right to the face, bust JBL open, and it gets up the one, two, three, folks. What a win here tonight. Retribution for Scott Nori finally hitting that JTS. Oh my god, I did it again. JTS? What the fuck is wrong with me? All right, listen, I did a lot of coke before the show, all right? GPSs, JTSs. It's just, it, Scott Nori's finishes the whole alphabet, okay? Let's be honest. Leave me be. Here is your winner, Scott Norther. Scott Nori, either way, guys, hits a huge GTS. Knee right to the face of JBL, busting him wide open and gets him the three count. Finally, Scott Nori with some retribution for himself. Big time went over the Raw General Manager. And actually, guys, I'm going to take a short intermission because intermission, i got to piss like a motherfucker. So I'll be back in like five minutes. Just look at Scott Nori's beautiful chest hair for, for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. And we'll get to our World Heavyweight title match, or double title match, I should say. A BRB, guys. BRB.
Uh, much better. You know what, Crazy? You're right, I didn't. I was in a rush, alright? It's gonna be My mom's gonna yell at me later. Yeah! I need to wash your ass! Why don't you call me? Why don't you call your mother? These turtle beaches, man, I tell you. I'll tell you something about turtle beaches. <laughs> they fucking suck, dude. That was a $1,200 piss, I'll tell you what. Well, Kendra, I'll send you pics later. Don't worry about it. Randy! Alright guys, it's time to go. It's time for possibly the biggest match we've ever seen here in Community Universe mode. A double title match. The Intercontinental Championship and the World Championship will be unified at the end of tonight's show, guys. The question is, who will be unifying them? Up next, of course, will be our main event of the evening. The 30-man over the top rope. Royal Rumble match, the winner will earn the right to main event the second annual WrestleMania and earn a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, or should I say the Undisputed World Championship, because after tonight, no matter if Hayden or Jeremy Lick wins, the Intercontinental title and the World title will become one. This is it, guys. Who's going to be the bigger dog here tonight? Jeremy Blake, the longest reigning champion of all time guys longest reigning single champion longest reigning well, not lo longer than any tag title reign there's been longest champion longest reigning champion period over anybody else got more title defenses under his belt as well defeating bison's record of four or he tied it he tied it jeremy blake also has four defenses if he wins here tonight, he'll make it five and become the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, we're gonna have the Intercontinental title graphic. Fair enough. We've never seen that before here in Community Universe mode. The beautiful Intercontinental Championship graphic. I'm kind of getting worried here. Why are they not holding up both titles? Should be a double title match. I hope Universe didn't reset this. Should I make sure, guys? Because I like I know that we could just have this and then I can make it, but... Uh, nah, we'll just go with it. Whoever wins, I can... Um, I'll just set it. I don't think it's for both titles, though. I think Universe might have reset it on me. Nonetheless, doesn't matter. Double title action. Here we go, guys. It is time. Jeremy Blake taking on Hayden Blade Kitely. Referee going to ring the bell. Start with a clean lockup. This is what WWE... Collar and elbow. Jerry Lake swoops behind for a waist lock. Oh, tries to pull Hayden down to the mat, but Hayden gets out of it. Waist lock of his own. Takes the Australian Daredevil down to the mat. Still got that waist lock cinched in. Blake gets out of it. Waist lock of his own. Waist lock after waist lock here. Brings it down to the canvas. Now a side headlock. Double title match, folks. 
This match is for both the Intercontinental and World Heavyweight Championship. Jeremy Blake, the reigning Intercontinental Champion, Hayden, the reigning World Champion. At the end of the night, we will have an undisputed World Champion, guys. Will it be Jeremy Blake? Will it be Hayden? Hayden's through with this collar and elbow shit, just tossing Blake back. Now going for a pullback attack. Doesn't pay off. Come on, Hayden, you know better. You should know better than anyone else. That pullback attacks rarely ever work. Twisting leg drop now from Blake. <laughs> of course, this is a double title match now after what happened just earlier in the week, guys, on Raw. Hayden agreed to JBL's proposal. Remember, JBL's proposal to Hayden was, you choose one member of X-Gen, which is the faction that Hayden belongs to, of course, choose one member from X-Gen to be fired, and you will get your Intercontinental Championship match this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. I will make it a double title match. And Hayden said, I'll think about it. And then just earlier in the week on Raw, guys, Hayden made his decision. He walked out of JBL's office and JBL announced it that Hayden has chosen Triple H, the mouthpiece of X-Gen, to be fired. Triple H is no longer on the Raw roster, guys. Triple H is no longer aligned with X-Gen. He is gone. Hayden fired him, essentially. Essentially, JBL really fired him, but Hayden essentially fired Triple H. X-Gen no longer has a job. X-Gen, or uh, Triple H no longer has a job, rather. X-Gen no longer has their mouthpiece and Triple H, guys, and after that argument that Hayden and Triple H got into a couple of weeks ago, remember Hayden said, Triple H, what have you ever done for me? Omega Z and Sushi X have always had my back, but what have you done for me? And then he stormed out of the room. So I guess that was a little bit of a, a preview as Hayden did choose Triple H to be fired, earning himself this Intercontinental Championship match here tonight and just early in the week on Raw as well. We actually saw this match is happening right now. Jeremy Blake collided with Hayden in the main event. And Hayden did force Jerry Blake to tap out using that signature Hollywood hold of his, the cross face. And then after the match was over, Hayden did offer uh, Jerry Blake a handshake, but Jeremy Blake just spit in Hayden's face and then slapped his hand away. That's got to be more of a reason that Hayden uh, accepted JBL's proposal. Just Jeremy Blake showing him no respect and to Larry to the back of the head here. So far, it's been pretty back and forth. Jeremy Blake has the upper hand now. Can he keep it up? This is a clean standard singles match, guys. Disqualifications and countouts are in effect. Pinfalls and submissions must count inside of the ring. Blake looking for his comeback. He can hit this, guys. Oh, he goes for it. But Hayden luckily reverses it. <laughs> All right, Chrissy, simmer down. Blake looking for the comeback again, perhaps. Or maybe he had a signature. I don't know. Either way, Hayden reversed it again, and now a power bomb. Double title match. Who will be? Who will make history here tonight, guys, and be the first man to unify two singles titles? Hayden, catchphrase, catchphrase from Hayden. The crowd just didn't pop at all right there. One, two. Oh, only a two count. Jeremy Blake in some serious trouble right now, folks. No, Hayden, Hayden stalking Jeremy Blake. Looking to lock in the Hollywood hold. Hayden's got it. Hayden's got the, oh, rope break. Rope break, rap, what? That was a rope break. Jeremy Blake taps. Jeremy Blake taps. And Hayden is the new undisputed world heavyweight champion. Forcing Jeremy Blake to submit here. That should have been a rope break, though. Look at that. The foot is clearly on the bottom rope. Clear as day. But the referee, I guess, just didn't see it. <laughs> and Hayden capitalizes. Hayden is the new Intercontinental Champion retaining his World Championship. Hayden makes history here tonight for... Over a year, Hayden wasn't able to get his hands on any gold. He's a season one veteran from the first season of NXT, guys. He didn't win his first championship 
until last month at WWE Live, and now he's swimming in gold. Hayden has now unified the Intercontinental title and the world title. What a match, guys. Hayden, the new undisputed world heavyweight champion. Congratulations to Hayden. What a match, guys. Blake, unfortunately, comes up short. That should have been a rope break completely, to be honest. It should have 100% been a rope break. I guess the ref didn't see it. The refs in the universe, we know they're retarded. What are you going to do? But Hayden, guys, forcing Jeremy Blake to tap out here and becoming the new Intercontinental Champion, unifying the Intercontinental and World title. What a match, guys. What a night it's been. And it's not over yet. And it's time for our main event of the evening, the 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble match. The winner will earn his chance to headline the second annual WrestleMania and get his shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Guys, here we go. It's time. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Well, that's a typical hated match because he usually doesn't last. What are those guys in the front row doing? Continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Elimination occurs when you are thrown over the top row and both feet touch the floor. The last man in the ring will be declared the winner of the Royal Rumble and will advance to the main event of wrestling. I like how it just changed the arena. <laughs> I like how it just completely changed the arena. What the fuck? We were in the 2004 Royal Rumble arena and now we're in the 2014 Royal Rumble arena. All right. Whatever. And Zach Payne gonna be number one here tonight, guys. <laughs> oh, Payne, it's not your night, buddy. Zach Payne has drawn the number one spot here tonight in the Royal Rumble match, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunate for Payne, who just earlier tonight lost his WWE Tag Team title alongside Big Show to X-Gen. Hey, Payne, Payne still has a chance, all right? Zach Payne has drawn number one here tonight, guys. Who will he be starting off against here in the 30-man Royal Rumble match? The second annual Royal Rumble match. Let's see. What if it's Big Show? That would be grand. That would be too good if it was Big Show. Please be Big Show. Please. Fingers crossed. Who is this? Ryan Kent! Former NXT champion Ryan Kent! What? What is Kent doing here? Ryan Kent is entering number two here in the Royal Rumble match. Former NXT champion, gonna start things off here tonight against Zach Payne. What a way to start off the Royal Rumble. Ken from down in NXT, guys, former NXT champion. He's gonna be starting things off against Zach Payne here tonight. Here we go, guys. 30 man over the top rope. Royal Rumble. It is time. This is it, as Zach Payne kicks things off against Ryan Kent. Kent front headlock. Immediately going to try. This is going to have a lot of lag in it, by the way, guys, because there's 23 fucking cars in it. So you're just going to have to bear with it. Payne, hard Irish swoop in the corner, follows it up with a Japanese arm drag. Now going for the blue thunder bomb. Payne looking to avenge his loss he took earlier in the night to X Gen, losing. The WWE Tag Team Titles. Toe snap of doom. And Ryan Kent looking to eliminate Zach Payne here. Make the first elimination match. And here comes number three. Who is it, guys? I think that's Zach Cage, if I'm not mistaken. It is Zach Cage entering in at number three here, folks. And remember, we do not get the uh, countdown time or the nameplate, so it really is a surprise until they actually enter into the ring. We honestly don't know who is coming out next until, they, until they're until they inside of the ring. 
and Zach Cage immediately in trouble. Ryan Kent and Payne working together to try to eliminate him here. That's, I actually like that, that there's no countdown or, or nameplates, because then it's actually a complete surprise until they get down into the ring. I actually like that. That's one time that Universe's glitches come into, into play in a good way. Zach Payne and Ryan Kent kicked off this match. They're still in there. Number three, Zach Cage, guys. Number four will be joining us shortly. This is our main event of the evening. Who is it? Number three. It sounds like it's a member of the Hit Squad. Which one, though? Paul Anderson or Jackie Rays? It will be Jackie Rays, ladies and gentlemen, who defeated Sunshine earlier tonight in our opening match of the evening. Payne with another blue thunder bomb on Kent over in the corner. Number four is Jackie Rays, guys. No one has yet to be eliminated yet. Jackie Rays might be going out right now. Ryan Kent's got him leaned up against the ropes. Or he's got, he's trying to push him out over there on the apron. Ryan Kent, what a surprise he is, guys. Former NXT champ. Who's this? Who's this, guys? Who's number five? Number five is gonna be Silva. One half the industry here. Immediately gonna go for Zach Payne. Massive. No, Kent! Kent's in trouble! Ryan Kent! Ryan Kent has been eliminated, folks. What a showing, what a surprise it was for him to be here. Unfortunately, he would be going to the back and taking a shower, hitting the showers, guys. The first elimination of the night is Ryan Kent. What a surprise he was, though. Definitely a hard fought battle. Unfortunately, he comes up short here. And Silva and Jackie Ray is working together to uh, take down Zach Cage there. Whew. One elimination so far. Now Zach Cage is in trouble, but Payne with a drop kick to the era. Raised with a drop kick to the back. Who's number six? Number six will be Dave Turner, ladies and gentlemen. One of the biggest names in tonight's Royal Rumble match. Dave Turner entering in at number six. Only one elimination so far. Ryan Kent, who entered at number two, was eliminated by Jackie Rays. Cage now in trouble. Jackie Ray is looking to make it too. Cage in trouble. Zach Cage has been eliminated, ladies and gentlemen. Jackie Ray makes it two eliminations here tonight. And now Jackie Ray possibly going to get eliminated here. Ray's in trouble, guys, as Chad Vegas enters in at number seven. No, Ray's hangs on. Chad Vegas entering in at number seven. Jackie Ray's hung on for dear life there. He got back into the ring. Chad Vegas, number seven. Jackie Ray's in trouble again out on the ring apron. We've got Silva in there. Zach Payne went to do number one. Payne! Payne in trouble. Turner's got Payne hung up on, on the ring apron. Ring and Silva's. But I completely just. <laughs> Didn't know. I just completely went into mumbles there. Uh oh, Payne. Payne's teetering, guys. Payne's hanging out for dear life. Zach Payne. Yes, Payne has been eliminated, folks. The number one entrant, Zach Payne, has been eliminated. Zach Payne's gone, the number one entrant. And now Chad Vegas is in trouble here as who's going to be number eight? Vegas. Vegas is eliminated. And here comes Sushi X. One half of the new WWE Tag Team Champions. Chad Vegas also eliminated. Both the men who started, Zach Cage and Brian Cage, have been eliminated. Chad Vegas and Zach Cage are gone. And now number eight, Sushi X is out there. Joining Jackie Ray, Silva, and Dave Turner. Number nine joining us in just a few seconds. If Big Show wins, he gives Big Show a spot. Really, Zach, that's interesting. Who's going to be number nine here? Dave Turner's got Jackie Ray's in trouble out in the, in the ring apron. Jackie Ray's is now leading. Been in this match the longest. He's 
Reyes, Tur Turner just keeps refusing to let Reyes get back into the ring every time he gets back in. Dave Turner just throws him back down on. And who's this now? I think this is Omega Z, guys. The other half of the new WWE Tag Team Champs, it is. Here comes Omega Z. And now Edgeton is ruling the ring. As Sushi's got Turner in trouble in the corner over there. Turner gets out of it though with a back elbow. Five men in the ring now. Number nine was Omega Z, X-Gen, having numbers advantage now if they were together. Jackie Ray is in trouble, hanging on to the bottom rope for dear life. Jackie could be out. He is. Jackie Ray has been eliminated by Omega Z. Don't talk too long, though, Omega. Turner's right behind you. That might cost Omega. Sushi X has Silva in trouble out in the ring apron. Dave Turner has Omega in trouble. Now Dave Turner has been in, and Silva's eliminated. Sushi X has eliminated Silva, one half of the industry. And now here comes number 10. Who will number 10 be? It sounds like Kaden Kidder, it is. The man who lost his hardcore championship just earlier tonight to Randy Borton enters in at number 10. Silva has been eliminated, guys. Number 10, Kaden Kinner, Omega Z, and Sue Chefs are ruling the ring right now. Dave Turner now the longest man to be in the Rumble. Turner with a nasty knee right to the face of Omega Z. And now he's going to give one to Sushi. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Dave Turner ain't fucking around with that X Gen life. Turner just ain't having it. Oh, and now Omega Z's targeting Sushi. I don't know about that strategy. These two just won the WWE Tag Team titles together earlier tonight, defeating Zack Payne and Big Show. They are three time tag team champs now. And they're going after each other. Here comes number 11. Who is it? Sounds like Mike Miles. Turner in trouble! Dave Turner in trouble! Kaden Kendra! Will Kaden eliminate it? Yes, Dave Turner has been eliminated, folks. One of the biggest names in the Royal Rumble match has been eliminated. See you by Dave Turner as number 11 is Mike Miles. So Jack's in trouble. Omega Z in trouble. And there goes Sushi, I think, I think we'll say goodbye. Oh wait, oh no, I thought Omega got eliminated. And Sushi X, both Omega and Sushi X saved themselves. Now Caden in trouble, Sushi X has switched the tables. And who's number 12 here, folks? Caden Kinner gets himself back in the ring. It will be Kendall Wolf entering in at number 11 here. And now Sushi X is in trouble hanging out for dear life. Will Sushi X be eliminated? Sushi X teetering! Sushi X has been eliminated. Now Kendall Wolf, or number 12, thank you, Kendra. Kendall Wolf eliminates Mike Miles. Mike Miles didn't last very long. Kendall Wolf making an elimination as soon as he gets into the ring. Sushi X has been eliminated, folks. Omega Z is still in there, though. And now Kaden Kinner's teetering. Kaden's teetering! Kaden! Kaden has been eliminated. The former hardcore champion has been eliminated by Omega Z. Now two men fill the ring. Ken the Wolf and Omega Z. And who's this? Entering at number 13. Marco Punish enters the Royal Roll match at number 13, folks. A great number for the big man. He's gonna taunt right away. <laughs> Omega Z in trouble. Why would Marco Punish do that? Why would Marco Punish save Omega Z? X-Gen and JBL's goons hate each other. Great strategy here from Kendall and Omega Z to work together to try to eliminate the big man. Entering in, it sounds like Randy Borton, folks, number 14, the new hardcore champion, Randy Borton, getting his shot to headline WrestleMania here. Omega Z has now been in the ring the longest. We've also got Marco Punish and Kendall Wolf in there. The new hardcore champion, Randy Borton, 
Caden Kinner has already been eliminated a few minutes ago, so Randy Morton won't have to worry about his wrath. We won't have to worry about him getting his revenge. Four men fill the ring, just seconds away from number 15. Halfway through the Royal Rumble, folks. And here comes Sunshine, guys, at number 15. Halfway through the Royal Rumble as Omega Z hits a future shot DDT on the big man Marco. Sunshine, Ken the Wolf in trouble. Ken the Wolf hanging off for dear life. Randy Borton looking to make his first elimination. And we'll be saying goodbye to Ken the Wolf. Good effort. Close, but no cigar, guys, here. Ken the Wolf has been eliminated by Randy Borton as Sunshine makes his way into the Royal Rumble match, number 15 here. Former two-time Intercontinental and World Champion, first ever Intercontinental Champion here in season two of Community Universe Mode. Now he's in trouble. Marco Punish has Sunshine in trouble. Omega Z is still the longest man in the Rumble so far. Marco Punish, Sunshine, and the new hardcore champion Borton in there as well. Maybe saying goodbye to Omega Z here. Who's that three at number 16? Number 16 will be Aaron White, the other half of the industry. Silva has already been eliminated pretty early on into the match. Uh oh, Omega Z. Omega Z, Randy Morton looking to make it two. And there goes Omega Z. What an elimination by Randy Morton, eliminating one half of the new WWE Tag Team Champions. A great elimination by Randy Morton. See you by Omega Z. And now X Gen, their sole. Uh, their sole opportunity here to win the Rumble lies on Duo Maxwell now. We don't know what number he'll enter in at, but he will be in this match as Aaron White in trouble. Sunshine also in trouble. Marco's got White teetering here. What? Sunshine has been eliminated, guys. And now here comes Paul Anderson entering in at number 17, the other half of the hit squad. Marco in trouble. Aaron White's got Marco Trouble, and there goes Marco Punish. Marco Punish eliminated only seconds after Sunshine. Two huge eliminations in this match, guys. Two fucking massive eliminations in this match. Both Sunshine and Marco Punish have been eliminated. Three men now fill the ring. Randy Borton takes claim for the longest time in the Rumble. And here comes Big Show. Big Show slowly making his way down to the ring. Randy Borton, the hardcore champion, immediately gonna get targeted. High angle scoop slam all the way up and back down again. We've also got Paul Anderson in there, the other half of the hit squad, and Aaron White, the other half of the industry. Man in the ring right now, guys. Number 19, just moments away from entering. Randy Morton is Randy, Randy Morton. Randy Morton has been wreaking havoc. And here comes my boy, Jack Swagger. That boy right there, my big five. This is my pick to win the Royal Rumble, brother. Jack Swagger. This boy immediately with a spinning fisherman suplex on Anderson. That's number 19, guys. Number 20 will be next. And then just 10 more to enter. Massive German suplex on Anderson. Jack Swagger should be in the shit out of Anderson as soon as he gets into the ring. And now Anderson in trouble, Aaron White's got him teetering. White looking to get another elimination here, and he does! See ya by Paul Anderson, coming up short here tonight. Randy Borton still has the longest time in the Rumble now. Big Show's got Aaron White in trouble. Aaron White might be joining Anderson on the walk up, and he is! Only moments after eliminating Paul Anderson, Aaron White himself gets eliminated. Wait a minute, what? No, it can't be! The NXT General Manager, what? No, are you kidding me? Kane! Kane entering in at number 20! What? The NXT General Manager, Kane, entering the Royal Rumble match at number 20!
What the hell? The NXT general manager at number 20, folks. Randy Borton still has the longest time in the Rumble, the new hardcore champion. He has three eliminations. Oh my God! Catapult WMD! Borton's gotta be out, guys. If Big Show can just toss him over the ropes now. The new hardcore champion, he has three eliminations. Big Show's all over him though. Big Show's been beating the shit out of him. We've also got Jack Swagger and Kane just entered at number 20. Number 21, guys! Number 21! The Miz is returning! The Miz has returned to the Royal Rumble match here, entering in at number 21. Here comes the Miz, immediately gets thrown out of the ring apron. Big Joe's got him in trouble. The Miz has returned, and Miz and Borton are going to work together to hit a double DDT on Big Show there. Great strategy. And now Swagger looking to eliminate the NXT general manager, Kane. Big Show going to try and help out. Miz gets himself back into the match. What? Number 22? That can't be. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, enters in the Royal Rumble match at number 22. It takes down Jack Swagger, Big Show, and Kane all at the same time with a single close line. Oh my God, I'm marking out right now. Ric Flair returns to Community Universe mode. Number 22, we haven't seen him since SummerSlam. We haven't seen Miz since SummerSlam. Well, we, last time we saw Miz was Capital Punishment. Kane, Kane in trouble, guys. Kane, Kane in trouble, Borton in trouble. Oh, Borton, get, Borton saved himself, probably had a finisher. And now Big Show, I'm losing my voice. I'm fucking screaming so much, guys. I'm marking out right now. Three huge entrants. Kane in trouble again. The NXT general manager hanging out for dear life. And Jack Swagger eliminates Kane. The NXT general manager comes up short here tonight. What a surprise, though. Now we've got Randy Borton still in there. Three eliminations under his belt. Uh-oh, we're not going to say bye to him right now, though. Randy Borton, yes! Randy Borton, unfortunately, has been eliminated. What an effort, though, from Borton here tonight. Three eliminations. Had to last at least 10 minutes. And now Swagger also eliminated by The Miz. Big, big Show now has the longest time in the Royal Rumble. Ric Flair and Miz also in there. Who will be number 24? Miz and Ric Flair working together to try to eliminate Big Show. Big Show has been wreaking havoc. Big Show teetering. This could be it. Yes, Big Show has been eliminated. Zach Payne's uh, dreams of main eventing WrestleMania have come crashing down. And now Miz and Ric Flair are left to fight it out. Number 20, or number 24, I should say, will be our next entry. Who will it be? I'm literally lose, losing my fucking voice right now. That's how hard I'm screaming. No! No, this can't be. The Rock! The Rock enters the Royal Rumble at number 24! What? Here comes The Rock, the People's Champion, entering at number 24! And the Ric Flair in trouble, close line to the back of the head! Oh my god! Ah. The Miz with the front headlock here on Flair, The Rock, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm literally used to losing my voice so bad right now. I can barely talk. I need to stop screaming so loud. I'm marking out though. This is too much for me to handle. I need a co-commentator so he can scream too. I can't take all that screaming, all that screaming job. <clears throat> I can't handle it alone. And who's this now? You're kidding me. Number 25, William Regal's back! William Regal is back, folks! Entering the Royal Rumble at number 25. All of the real guys are entering in a string here. Oh, 
and William Regal might have the shortest time in the Royal Rumble match, immediately eliminated by The Miz. And Rick Blair teetering, but he gets back in. And here comes Xander Slate, guys, at number 26 or 27. I think it's 27. I think, no, 26, number 26. The Miz now holds the claim to longest time in the Royal Rumble. Ric Flair and The Rock also in there, and Xander Slate makes his way in at number 26. Looking to eliminate Miz here. If I would have rigged it, Zach, I would have made Slate number 30. <clears throat> Over a back elbow. Ooh, Rock goes for a, I don't know, a running move from behind. Only four more at, no. No, Slate, please hang on, Slate. Please hang on. No, Xander. No, don't get eliminated. No, come on. Xander Slate eliminated by The Rock. Xander only lasted like a minute. <laughs> come on, Slate. Oh, God damn it. And now number 27, who is it? It'll be Colin Styles at number 27. Only three more left to enter. The Rock's got Styles in trouble. Ric Flair in trouble in the corner. And there goes Ric Flair. Ric Flair eliminated by The Miz. The Miz guy's been wreaking havoc. He's made like three eliminations now. Just eliminated Ric Flair. The Rock also in there. Yes, I'm saying that. The Rock, you're hearing me right. Colin Styles just entered at number 27. And now number 28, the newcomer, Ringo Max. What an opportunity for this young man. Number 27. Gonna go toe to toe with Colin Styles here. Two more men left to enter, guys. Two more. Ringo Max entered at number 28. Just two more left to enter, guys. Then we'll have our, our final six. The Miz, The Rock, Colin Styles, and Ringo Max in there right now. The Miz and Trump. Rock has been cleaning house too. He's eliminated quite a few people. <clears throat> and here it comes, number 29. Who will it be? The Miz! The Miz in trouble, and there goes The Miz. And Ringo Max. Ringo Max is also going to be eliminated. Yes, there goes Ringo Max. And who's number 29? Duo Maxwell, number 20. No, this is 28. I think you're counting wrong, Kendra. Duo Maxwell is entering at 28. Because I know for a fact there's still two more people besides him. Duo Maxwell entering in at number 29, guys. The Rock now holds the claim. The Rock, oh my God, Duo Maxwell in trouble. He's getting double teamed here. Great strategy by The Rock and Colin Styles, but Duo gonna save himself. Here comes Scott Nori. I'm positive you guys are wrong. Oh, wait a minute, The Rock. What an elimination this would be. But it looks like Rock's gonna be able to save himself. No, The Rock's eliminated. And here comes Scott Nori, entering in at number 29 or 30. It might be 30, maybe Universe fucked me over. But I'm pretty sure this is 29. I think one of you guys counted wrong. Because I know of a certain person that should be in here, but maybe Universe fucked me over, you don't know. Nobody knows. Colin Styles in trouble now. Duo Maxwell in there, Scott Norwood just entered. And Colin Styles still there. Colin Styles gotta be the dark horse here. Can't be number 30! No! It's it's Bison! Bison's back! Bison is back! The Barbarian entering in at number 30! He's back! The behemoth, the monster of community universe mode! It's Bison entering in at number 30! 
He's looking to eliminate Colin Styles. Final four here, guys. Duo Maxwell representing the X-Gen. Scott Nori, Colin Styles, the Dark Horse, and the returning Bison. Oh my God. Final four, what a final four, ladies and gentlemen. Who's gonna headline this year's WrestleMania? Oh my God, I swear, if Styles eliminates Bison. Bison in trouble, guys. Colin Styles got, no, what? Bison's eliminated, what? Are you kidding me? Bison's eliminated by Colin Styles. What a surprise though, what a <laughs> Come on, Bison. God damn it. Final three, guys, here we go. Colin Styles, Scott Norrie, Duo Maxwell, here we go, guys, this is it. Final three, Bison walking back in shame, lasted about 20 seconds. What a surprise though, what a return. Oh my God, this is the perfect final three. You got the Dark Horse, Colin Styles, you got Duo Maxwell, representing the X-Gen, you got Scott Nori, who just earlier tonight beat JBL, won a hell of a match, finally getting redemption for all the things that JBL's put him through. What a win this would be for Nori to headline the main event, the second annual WrestleMania, and Colin Styles is gonna get himself back in the ring after almost getting eliminated there. Final three in the Royal Rumble match. What a rumble it has been, guys. I'm losing my voice. I'm streaming so much. Styles in trouble again here. The big guy's got him teetering. Oh, no, he gets back in the ring. Styles, Nori, Maxwell. Who's going to headline WrestleMania this year? Nori's in trouble. He's getting double teamed right now. He's teetering. Uh-oh, Scott Nori, after all that damage he took earlier tonight, no, he gets back in. He saves himself. Scott Nori's not at 100% right here, guys. He's severely damaged. JBL did a number on him earlier tonight in their match. Beat the shit out of him with a handful of weapons. So Nori's got to be careful. He can't get caught out on the ropes, or he will be eliminated. Again, duo Colin Styles will come over and help. Yes, he will. If they keep teaming up on Nori like this, guys, he's not going to last long. They got him teetering again. And he gets back in. Scott Nori keeps saving himself. He refuses to go down without a fight. Scott Nori wants, uh-oh. Styles, Styles doesn't make another huge elimination, but Duo saves Nori from sure elimination right there. We know of the past alliance between X-Gen and Nori, but I thought that was, I thought that was void now. I thought they ended it. But it looks like Duo Maxwell just saved Scott Nori from sure elimination. He was teetering, guys. He was right on the edge. I'm sure that if Duo hadn't stopped that, Colin Styles would have eliminated him. And now it's Styles who's in trouble. Colin Styles is eliminated. Oh my God, what a final two. Duo Maxwell, Scott Nori, the final two in the Royal Rumble. This is perfect, guys. X Gen versus Scott Nori. Who's going to WrestleMania? Perfect final two. Oh my God, Nori, Scott Nori. Nori can do it, you can do it, Nori. Come on, Nori. You got this, but duo hangs on. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind right now. Final two, Scott Nori versus duo Max. No, duo, duo Maxwell with a clothesline over the top rope, and duo Maxwell is the 2016 Royal Rumble winner. Oh my God! Duo Maxwell with a clothesline over the top rope, and he is now the 2016 Royal Rumble winner. Duo Maxwell. Oh my God! The Dark Horse of X Gen, the monster, the behemoth. Duo Maxwell winning the Royal Rumble, eliminating Scott Nori, and earning his chance to headline WrestleMania. Pointing to the WrestleMania sign, Duo Maxwell is ready for his opportunity. He's ready to headline WrestleMania. Oh my God. Ugh. I still can't believe Bison got eliminated so quick. I was so sure Bison was gonna come in and wreck it and win. <clears throat> my God, though, guys. What a Royal Rumble. I literally lost my voice. <clears throat>
duo Maxwell clotheslining Scott Nori over the top rope to win the Royal Rumble match. Whew. My goodness. And guys, but earlier tonight in the Royal Rumble event, we saw Hayden defeat uh, Jerry Blade to become the unified world heavyweight champion. And now duo Maxwell, another member of X-Gen, has won the Royal Rumble match, earning his shot at the world championship and the main event of WrestleMania. So if Hayden's still champion come WrestleMania, then we're going to have an X-Gen versus X-Gen match. And we have news alerts. That's going to be all, all about our new champions. We have a clean sweep of new champions, Omega and <clears throat> Sushi, our new tag champs, Randy Borton, the new hardcore champion, and Hayden, of course, winning their Intercontinental title to unify Unify it with the uh, world championship. I My voice is shot. <clears throat> Thank you guys for joining me, though. I'm going to have to go drink a lot of water right now and rest my voice for the fallout tomorrow. What a show, though, guys. What a WrestleMania. Duo Maxwell eliminating Scott Nor in the final two. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, if you're new to the show and you like what you saw, <clears throat> Make sure you follow me. I film every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. That is my schedule. Sometimes I might get another episode up on Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday or something. <clears throat> but uh, usually it's always Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday. So if you like what you saw, make sure you follow me. If you want to check out all the past episodes, they are linked on my YouTube channel, which is or they are on my YouTube channel, which is linked on my Twitch page. And the website for the show, as always, is communityuniverse.forumocean.com. Community Universe.forumocean.com. If you want to join the show or if you just want to go out there and check it out, you're more than welcome. Thank you guys for joining me for one of the best Royal Rumble matches I've ever seen. What a night, guys. Clean sweep of new champions. Duo Maxwell heading to WrestleMania. And I will see you guys for the fallout.